One of the ways that you can make your production a little more appealing to the eye is by the use of graphics. And one of the things that we're going to talk about today is uh, using gradients in your graphic. And uh, gradients allow you, allows you to um, add some pop to your graphic. It kind of uh, makes them look a little bit more three-dimensional. Several months ago, the vMix guys put out a tutorial talking about how you can now do uh, color change effects in uh, vMix 25. Or one of the things they said during that tutorial was it did not work with gradients. Well, I've kind of come up with a workaround for that, and I'm going to show you that today. So what we're going to do first is we're going to head over to GT Title Designer. And I created three, or actually, I created four little demo graphics here. On this first graphic right here, uh, you can see where the gradient in the background kind of goes from a light to dark. You can see patches of light or lines of light and then lines of dark. That kind of just gives a little bit of a wavy effect. The second one here is the one that I use quite a bit. You can see that there's a light streak through the middle. And then you can see as it gets to the top and to the bottom how it gets a little bit darker. This third one right here, I use this oftentimes for the ends of graphics and it kind of gives it that three-dimensional look and makes it kind of look like it's bent. And then this fourth one here, it's basically this third one, but I put an edge around it. And when you put the edge around it, it kind of contains that three-dimensional effect inside uh, that edging. So we're gonna break these down and I'm gonna show you how we do this step by step. For this first one, I'm going to turn the color off and I'm gonna let you see the, gra the uh, gradient that's in the background. If you go up and click on home, then you'll see the gradient right here. So we'll go ahead and click the gradient. And this is what the gradient looks like. When it first comes in, you have two stops. You have one here and one at the end. This one here at the end is normally comes up as transparent. So what I did is I added one, two, three, four, five more stops. And you add the stops right here on this button just by clicking the add stop button. So what I did is I clicked that five times and let's go look and see at the colors uh, that we put in these particular stops. I'm gonna start with the beginning one first. We're gonna click on that and it's this color right here. And what I'm doing is I'm using uh, the three shades of gray in the palette right here. And the darker one I'm gonna use for the two end points. So you can see the darkest one right here has been chosen. We're gonna to go to the other end now, click on these two dots, and you can see for that one, the darker one has been chosen. Then we're gonna to go to the second one in the row and take a look at that. And you can see that's the lightest of these three shades of gray right here. That's how, and that's what allows us to get that wavy effect. So then we're gonna to go to the second to last one. Let's take a look at that. Again, it matches the second one in the column is the light, uh, lightest shade of gray there in the palette. Then we're gonna to go to the third one from the front, take a look at that. And that is actually the middle color uh, in our grays. We're gonna to go to the third to last, click on that. You can see where that is the middle shade of gray as well. And then when we go to the one that's in the very middle, you can see that that is the lightest shade of gray. And that's how we get this wavy effect here by kind of sandwiching the lighter uh, colors of gray between the darker colors of gray. So let's go ahead and put the color back on here on that particular element. And then you can see that wavy effect uh, that you get uh, by superimposing the color. Dropping down the opacity is what we had to do on the actual uh, demo, uh, I mean on the uh, gradient. We had to drop the gradient down a little bit and then that allows that color to bleed through. So let's go and look at the second example. And this is the one uh, that I said I really use quite a bit. It's the one that kind of gives it that three-dimensional three bin look uh, in the graphic. So let's go ahead and turn the color off. We're gonna go to home and let's take a look at the gradient on this one. Again, we did the same thing. Uh, when it first comes up, you're gonna have two endpoints and we clicked on the add stop button one, two, three, four, five times. And what we're using here is we're using a black and then a little bit lighter black, a little bit lighter shade of black. And then in the middle, we're using a silver color. 
So let's take a look at those. Okay, so we're going to click on the gradient and we're going to go to where it says gradient here. It says transparent gradient and picture. We're going to click on gradient. And you can see on the very first one right here and then the very last one right here, it's the very same color. And that's this color right here. It's actually black. And then we're going to go to the next two in the middle, this one here and this one here and click on these two white dots and you can see it's our darkest shade of gray right here. We're going to go to this one here and this one here and you can see those are the same color and we're going to click on the two dots and that's our middle shade of gray. And then we're going to click on the one right here in the middle, the light shade of gray down here below the other uh, three colors of gray uh, that we are going to be using in just a minute. But it's this light one right here. I call it silver and that's what we have right in the middle. So we click OK and you can see that gradient right there. So let's go ahead and bring the demo color back. And you can see how that works. When you put the color over top of the gradient, uh, you can see that uh, the, the gradient bleeds through it. And again, how we do that is we go up to effects, we back the opacity of the gradient down to about 74. So it's at, a, it's at 74%. We'll turn it back on. And then the color, we back that opacity down too to 55 so it can breathe and come through. So let's go back down to 55 like it was right there. And you can see how the, the gradient bleeds through that uh, red color that we chose. So now we're going to go to the third demo. And this is the one that we call Silver Vertical. And we're going to take a look at that. We're going to go under Home. We're going to select this button right here. And then we're going to go to Gradient. Lighter. Uh, we don't have as many stops here. We only added three stops. And then we have the middle shade of gray on the on the two endpoints. It's this one right here and this one right here. And let's go look at our palette. I'm sorry, that's the lightest shade of gray. We have that as our two endpoints. And then this next, these next two here, this is going to be the one that I called silver, the one that we used in the previous one. It's right here. And then the last one, the one right in the middle, I believe this is just white. And we don't have a color over top of this one. I just wanted to demonstrate this um, so that you can see the three-dimensional effect of this particular graphic when you use it uh, vertically. You can see the light, um, the light silver in the middle, and then as it goes to the uh, top and the bottom, how it gets darker, and it gives that three-dimensional look. The last one here, like I said, we just add, added an edge to it. So I, I just right-clicked and copied, clicked on that, and then I right-clicked and pasted and then just moved it over to here and on this one I came over to this right here which is the edging I made it a thickness of five and I actually did a gradient on this edging too uh, but it doesn't show up very well I did it uh, using black as the endpoints and then blue as the uh, two inner colors a dark blue and then I used black again in the middle and I was hoping that it was going to give me uh, some type of a neat uh, effect but uh, you, I mean you can see it. it it does look kind of three-dimensional but basically all it's doing is adding a dark uh, edging around this light that we created I'm gonna bring in the graphic into our production and then I'm gonna right click on it and it brings in this box right here well as I've said several times before with vmix 25 we now have the ability to go in and we can change the color. Um, if we had text items that we were going to change within this particular graphic, they, those would show up under the text tab here. If we had images uh, within this graphic, they would show up here. And we have some color items and they show up right here. Well, I'm going to have to go back into GT Title Designer and show you what I had to do in order to get these to pop up. Okay, what you have to do when you're making these on this one right here where it says demo color one you have to go up under data and you have to make sure when you first add something here this hidden button is going to be 
checked. You got to make sure you uncheck that hidden button so it's going to be available available to you. And I'd had to do that on both of these. Let's go to the second demo color here. And you can see again, it's unchecked. Uh, just to show you, when you bring in a rectangle for color, when you first bring it in, you can see how that the buck you can see how that box is checked there that says hidden. You have to make sure you uncheck that box uh, so that it'll be visible uh, under the title editor. So let's go ahead and we're just going to get rid of that box there. And then we're going to take you back to this. I'm going to bring the graphic back in. Once again, I'm going to uh, right click, select the title editor and go to the color tab. Let's bring this up and kind of out of the way. And you can see right here, I have demo color one, and that's the one that has the orange in it. Well, let's choose a different color. We can go up here. Let's choose uh, that blue color right there. Click OK. And you can see where it turns to blue, and you can still see the wavy effect within the blue. And let's go to the second demo color. And we're going to click on the color palette here. And let's kind of make it a greenish color and we're going to click OK and you can see where the color changes to green we still have that gradient uh, effect that's uh, available to us so you can change the color uh, via the color editor uh, within vmix without having to go back to uh, gt title designer and redesign your graphics so if you like a particular gradient and you're using it uh, in your production, all you're gonna have to do is right click on it, bring it up into the preview is what I'm doing. Bring it up in preview, right click, select title editor, go to the color tab, and then all we have to do is choose uh, what color we want. And that's how easy it is. You just pull up the title editor and you can now uh, edit the color within the title editor uh, within your vMix production. Working with gradients was our topic today. Uh, please make sure you do give us a thumbs up and a like, and make sure that you do subscribe uh, so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. As always, thank you so much.